Hey guys, welcome back. So here is that Dell all-in-one I had uh, made a video about uh, some time ago. These videos here, I just want to show you as kind of a show and tell. I'm not going to go through and waste time repairing these um, on camera because these are a lot newer than uh, what this channel's focused on. But, you know, I do work on just about any computer that comes into my, uh, into my hands here. This one here is a... Um, a Dell all-in-one. It's got an Intel Pentium CPU. Um, it's got four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM in it. It's got a 500 gigabyte solid state hard drive. And uh, this is the one that I picked up in my local thrift store for about $15 and some change. And um, it's been a fairly decent computer. Um, now it is touch screen. I don't know if I ever told you that or not, um, which is really nice. But I still have a keyboard and a mouse hooked up to it. But we can go over here and go to the system. We're going to go to the about. Let's take a look at it. So, yeah, you can see it's got an Intel Pentium CPU N3540. Clocked at 2.6 gigahertz with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And you can see that it has Windows 10 Home 22H2, which still needs to be updated to 23H2. Oh, wait, they don't have that out. No, never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry. I misspoke there. So, um... Yeah, this one actually has a battery in it, and I need to plug it in and charge up the battery. Um, it's going dead on me. This thing is very lightweight. <coughs> Excuse me, for an all-in-one. I'm still having some complications. Not really complications, but just still some after effects from the COVID-19. Um, but anyway, yeah, this um, computer here is uh, a fairly decent uh, machine here. It's not a high-end machine by any means. You wouldn't be able to game on it. Um, some people ask me, can you game on these computers? Like, majority of these, these you cannot. Um, and that's the thing, you know, people need to understand that, you know, not every computer around here is for gaming. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I don't understand people. It's like, Ooh, can you game on the computer? Is that for gaming? No. It's for other things. It's for other, you know, it's for work, you know. People actually do work on computers, you know. And they're like, look at you, you're like, what the hell's the matter with you? What? You talking about work? What? You can work on a computer? Yeah. Check emails, do research, do your homework. There's a lot of things you can do on a computer besides playing games. I mean, come on. Games. That's not what computers are. Uh, they were not designed for that. Yeah, you can build high-end gaming computers that are that, but they can do other things as well, too, like video editing and, and uh, production type work. So... Anyway, it's just it's just funny what people think about and, and what they come up with. So, you know, but it's it's a nice little unit. I've always been wanting an all in one computer and they're usually very expensive. This one, like, like I said, was only 15 bucks. I don't know if they didn't realize that this was an all in one or if they just thought it was a monitor or what they did. I think these thrift stores don't even check half of this stuff because I've picked up a couple things from thrift stores that they just slap a sticker on it and they don't even say anything on there, like if it works or it doesn't, and I get it home and it doesn't work. Now, lucky for me, I'm a technician, so I know how to repair majority of this stuff. Um, but I can tell you right now, the average John Doe ain't going to know how to fix this, and they're going to be uh, uh, SOL, you know, if they uh, get something and uh, it doesn't work, because thrift stores are getting to the point where if, if it doesn't work, yep, too bad. You know, some thrift stores do offers uh, like a little bit of a warranty. Like if, okay, if you get it, it doesn't work, you can bring it back and uh, they'll exchange it. Generally, you do not get um, money back. You get store credit, which is, which in a sense really sucks because if you take something back and they don't have anything that you want, you're stuck getting uh, something you don't want. And I've had that happen before. I brought something back one time and... I literally had to just fill my cart up with a bunch of worthless crap and it was stuff I didn't want, but I had to take it, you know, as, um, you know, as store credit. And I was like, ah. and I really tried talking to him and I said, can, can you guys like give me like a few days? No, no, no. You got to use it today. I'm like, yeah. So yeah, thrift stores are very, very finicky about stuff like that. I understand to some degree, but in others I, I don't, and I'm not going to get into it right now. But anyway, so if you ever do buy things from a thrift store, be very careful. And it's best to be a person who has a background. Oh, this crap keeps coming up. All this backing up stuff. I do. I take care of my own backing up. I don't need. Shut up. Shut up. Get out of here. Don't need it. Um, I don't need uh, somebody telling me when to do my backing up. I choose when to do my backing up. Okay. Um, anyway. So like I said, if you are a 
a person who's going to go to a thrift store or any type of charity shop and purchase something like this, be aware that it's going to end up, um, you know, probably not working or not working right. And, uh, you know, and your odds of you getting uh, your money back or getting in anything exchanged is pretty slim. So the best thing to do is if you see something and you know it's a good deal and you know you're going to fix it, grab it. Otherwise, just don't. Eventually, if it sits there long enough, it eventually they just throw it away, you know, which I think is also wrong. I think it should just be uh, – they should have, like, a free box. If you can't sell it, throw it in a free box, let people take it, you know. At least it's out of their hands, you know, because a lot of stuff, you know, has to go to recycling, and a lot of these thrift stores don't even throw stuff in the recycling. A lot of them get their own trash compactors, and they just throw anything in there. You know, and that's just to me is wrong because that stuff needs to go to recycling. But they just toss it in there and then, uh, yeah, and then they just deal with it that way. Um, now, this one here, um, I'm noticing that down on the bottom here. Um, now, I'm a person who likes to have things like this on my bottom toolbar and there's others that don't. Um, but it says it's going to be feeling cooler. Yeah, because we're going to be getting another round, our first major round of snow coming up here. So... Uh, um, I was kind of doubting that we're going to get much for snow, but it looks like there is snow now in the forecast. So anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching and you have a great rest of the day and I uh, will see you soon. Bye.